Hey everybody, it's Mike Jones out here at the Pinehurst uh, Moore County Airport and I'm in front of uh, the Bush Cat. That's my little tail dragger and we're going to be heading out today. Browse around, do some landings and just have a wonderful day on this spectacular uh, late summer day. Should be a great day for flying. Okay. Here we are taxiing out on runway 5 at Pinehurst Moore County Airport. The Bushcat's got a 100 horsepower Rotax on pavement. It'll be off the ground in about 400 feet. And I'm gentle with the airplane. I'm not one who really likes to beat my equipment up. So I take it easy, get the tail flying, and up we go. And it is a beautiful day. The air is calm. It's just a splendid morning to be up in the sky. Now let's talk a little bit about flying the wing as we head west out of Pinehurst and all the Pinehurst golf courses. I have a confession to make. I have been flying the plane too fast, especially on short final. I have too much airspeed. This leads to bounced landings, uh, never loss of control, but sometimes it's been interesting. So what I'm going to be doing is flying the wing today, getting the nose high and adjusting my altitude by the, uh, with the throttle. Here we are on short final into Derby. Derby's uh, 2,500 feet wide, does have some um, trees on the left which give us a burble. And also, this is my first landing after coming out of an annual inspection. So I'm just being gentle, making sure I'm with the airplane and everything's normal. But I'm shooting for 55 miles an hour as I touch down. No extra speed. There's the runway end markers. I see the second yellow markers coming in. I got a little bit too high. Watch the landing gear. Boom, right about there. There we go. Uh, the grass could be smoother, by the way, but that's not bad. Anyhow, add the power. Goose it along, and up we go. Notice I got half flaps in. That's that black handle uh, right in front of my nose. And we're up and away. Okay. So now we're going to do another landing. Again, we're on short final. I noticed I got some burbles out of the wind coming over those trees. So I'm coming in from the side, and I'll turn just as before I touch down. I'm watching my airspeed. The pitch, the, the stick, is what I'm using to control my airspeed. If I get a little slow, I add some power to arrest any descent. Anything below 55, 50 miles an hour, the bush cap really does start to settle so you'll 55 miles an hour is a great speed all right there's my runway end markers watch the burble just as I get below the trees a little bit right there nice nice and smooth and very very much under control no bounces at all little stop and go action here. We'll check the gauges, check the flaps, power in with my left hand. You just see my thumb is on the throttle there. And we blast down the uh, derby runway, lifting off in about 500 feet on grass. Seems to be about what she does. All right, you ready for the third one? This time I am really going to watch the speed I'm coming in at an even steeper angle off the side of the runway. And watch the propeller adjust as I change the throttle back and forth just a little bit. But my nose is way high. 55 miles an hour is the goal. And I'm going to try to land right by that second yellow runway marker. Let's see how I do. There's the end markers. It's going to be a spot landing. How can I do? And there it goes. You saw it just race by, just before I touched down. So that's pretty good. Landing in, oh, say, 100 feet of where my target really was. Okay, nose is up. Excuse me, tail is up. And we are off the runway. Now we're going to go to another airport. We're going to do something a little bit different. This is the Carthage Gillum McConnell Airport in 
uh, BQ1 in Carthage, North Carolina. 2,500 feet, and it has parallel runways. It has a paved runway and a grass runway. As I get close, I notice there's a huge number of cars and a lot of people standing around and looking at things. I don't know what they're doing. Airport's open. Here comes my first notch of flaps. And back on the throttle, back on the throttle. A little bit of trim there. The trim is between the seats. And here we go. All right. I'm going to land on the grass to the left of the runway. 55 miles an hour is the speed. Notice I'm raising the nose and lowering the nose to get the airspeed just right, adding power to adjust my rate of descent. There's a little more wind here today at this point. And watch the burble. Just see that? As I just get over the top of the trees. Also, there's some water at the southeast and southwest end of this runway. So you always want to land just a little bit long, otherwise it gets a little muddy and you happen to wash a plane. Notice on this landing I cross the paved taxiway. We're going to come back to that in just a second. Okay, not bad, good, but not brilliant. So we taxi back on the paved runway. I turn, notice I'm not using the whole runway because that southwest end is a little wet. Hit the gas. And away we go. Tails up. And we're off the ground long before we get to the paved uh, and taxiway intersection. And a little bit of a wing wag for all those people on the ground. I wonder what they were doing. Don't know. I also noticed this large helicopter over there with a bunch of guys in brown uniforms. Don't know what that's about either, but it's interesting. Okay, here we go. Back on short final. Now notice I am way off to the right-hand side of the runway. I am coming in on an angle intentionally. Going to land on the left side of the paved runway on the grass. 55 miles an hour. Prop speeding up and slowing down as I make adjustments. I'm making almost as many adjustments with the throttle as I am with the stick. Notice how far I am off the center line of the runway. That's intentional because when I get down below the trees, I kick in a little bit of rudder, straighten her right out, touch down on the dry spot, and come to a complete stop long before the tax, the paved taxiway intersection. I'm just turning here to do a 180 to get back out. That was a good one. Felt really, really comfortable. My speed was great, and the little diversion off to the side avoided those problems. Here's the throttle. Make sure everything's in the green. Hit the gas. And away we go. This thing just flies so nicely. What a great little machine. And to give the guys in the helicopter a thrill, I fly over them and give them a wing wag too. Always good to be neighbor. Alright, now we're coming back home. This is a midfield crosswind at Pinehurst Moore County Regional and that's going to be runway 5 that we're going to turn left and land on runway 5. Making my radio calls. It's a busy airport, a lot of jet traffic. Okay, that traffic circle is a great landmark. So I'm coming in on my, uh, down, my downwind and then my base and now I'm going to turn final. You can see the runway approach lights right there. This runway has a four, five hundred foot displaced threshold. The numbers are past that displaced threshold, and my goal on this flight is to land right exactly on the big five painted on the end of the runway. Let's see how I do. I got my speed. You can see I'm adjusting the prop again. Nice rate of descent. The Pappy is happy over there on the left hand side. Very stabilized approach. And there's the five, there's the arrows, there's the bars, and now, ah, just missed it. Still, much, much better than my first few. I'm getting better and better at flying the wind. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you the next time we're in the sky.